So I'm Professor Phil Robinson. I'm at the Children's Medical Research Institute in Sydney, Australia. Well, I'm a basic laboratory scientist and I'm very, very interested in signaling mechanisms in cells, protein kinases, G proteins, post-translational modifications. Um, and I apply that to a number of systems, in neuroscience and to cancer. And our group is really, primarily until now, has been basic discovery science, how things work. But I also have a translation program working on drug discovery to capitalise on the um, discoveries that we make. So we're trying to get our compounds into the clinic for both epilepsy and for cancer. So um, my laboratory in Sydney has three arms, wings, if you like, um, the basic science, regular cell biology, biochemistry lab, um, a proteomics facility that's growing um, like crazy, um, and a drug discovery centre. And each of those are collaborative networks around the world, and we work with both other scientists and industry partners. ProCan is a new facility that we are creating. We were awarded $10 million from the Australian Cancer Research Foundation um, less, less than six months ago, and we've used it to create a different way of doing proteomics. And it's been enabled by the technology that's now available through SciEx to, to, to do this. So running the instruments in a facility in high throughput mode in, by standard operating procedures allows us to do something different, and that is to collect proteomes of thousands of tumours over many, many years. The first breakthrough was the ability to do proteomics on the smallest size tumour samples possible, a, a needle biopsy. So that's a milligram. And being able to handle that in high throughput has been revolutionary in allowing us to get high throughput data. And that's called a barocycler from a company called PBI, Pressure Biosciences. But the main thing that's enabled ProCan has been the development of the SWATH technology, which is built into the instruments called the 6600 um, triple tops. Those instruments are able to collect the entire proteome of a sample in an hour and a half. You run the sample and you archive the sample and you search it with specific search tools that are growing year by year by year in strength. And you interrogate the swath maps or swath data to look for protein sample sets. So our search library now is in the 10, close to 10,000 proteins that we're looking for. And then that enables us to quantify four to nearly 5,000 proteins at a time across every sample. But next year and the following year, we expect to be able to do 6,000, maybe seven, and go deeper and deeper as the search tools get better. And that's what the technology SciEx has brought to the table has allowed us to do. No other company or no other supplier can do that in a scale like this yet. And I guess that the main thing about the future is we believe this is going to change the face of pathology and of personalised patient care. Pathology because we're going to be able to get far larger numbers of markers for tumour types and subtypes. And patient care because we're creating a decision tool to give to put into the hands of the treating physician so the oncologist has some options. 